money is raw, right? And tell her I wasn't gonna speak about it because it's not okay. People are being led astray. You're going straight, I promise you this. If you are going to fall for these things, you're going straight to hell. You that's where you're going. Like one way ticket to hell type of situation. Don't do it. Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello. What is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into today's video. Alrighty then you guys in today's video we are going to be talking about the situation that is happening globally actually um, Demasculating men Right Now This past weekend as a matter of fact, I was relaxing And I was trying to stay off social media, but I do pop in now and then because you guys know I am absolutely obsessed with YouTube and I, I saw, I stumbled across these videos about Ugokos Koteni. Gokos Koteni is somebody that I was introduced to a few months back when that whole drama of hers happened where she went to the river and then she had some issues with some Caucasian people that were like, you can't do your practices here, which I feel like was just absolutely unfair and unnecessary. I feel like if you go to a river or a lake or a dam or the sea, and you want to do your practices and so on and so forth you should be allowed to do that because rivers and lakes and dams and seas are free i always tell you guys that the world is governed by god we are governed by the laws of god yes we do have these earthly laws but i mean there are some situations where you're like are you serious bro what <laughs> unless you own the land which even that to me is very ludicrous don't do that shit, right so I was introduced to Ugo Koteni then, because she was on the news, it was a whole big hoopla type of situation, um, which fizzled out very quickly. <sighs> now recently, I saw last week when she was trending, because she has this reality show, right? Um, she's a traditional healer, she's a gogo. -go. she's, in my opinion, seems like she's a witch, like... <laughs> type of situation no disrespect to them i'm just saying that's my opinion those are the type of vibes that they're giving off right because this we'll get into it we'll get into it right and so on her reality show there has been um this um running theme or storyline where she wants to take a second husband She's a woman. I think it's called polyandry. When a woman takes more than one husband. And then it's called polygamy. When a man takes more than one wife. I honestly have only seen these things happening in soapies and so on. Right? I don't even watch soapies that much anymore. It's like, if I catch it, I catch it. I really don't care. Everything is just so fake. But is it? <laughs> <laughs> but is it? Because here we are. Gogo Skoteni wants to do this polyandry situation. So in this episode that I caught online, um, how it starts off is she walks into her home that she shares with her husband and she's walking in with another guy. This other guy is Usbusiso. Right? They sit down and then she's basically reintroducing Usbusiso to her husband and his name is Umonde, right? Yeah, Monde. And Spusiso and Monde embrace each other in a hug. Like, they're so happy to see each other. So it's like, nice vibes, everything's good. It's like, you remember him? You remember him to a situation? And apparently, allegedly, they have worked together before. So, as the situation goes on, Gogo Skoteni now starts to tell her husband, Umon, um, yeah, but 
come on there. That remember when I was telling you that the ancestors, because she's controlled, I guess, her whole entire life is controlled by the ancestors. The ancestors want me to take another husband. The husband looks like he is flabbergasted. Like, what the fuck is going on here? I know, Monday, we've done business with Umonde. And as a matter of fact, apparently, allegedly, Gok Kote Gok. Gok was Koteni dated Usbula men before when they were younger. So, Monday's like, what the flying fit? Guys, if I'm confusing the names, I apologize. I feel like I am, but I hope I'm not. So Uman is like, what the flying fish is happening here, right? You used to date this guy when you were in school or whatever. Apparently, allegedly, he was your first love. Now you're coming home telling me because apparently she had already told him that the ancestors want her to take another husband. Polly Andrew. And he's like, what's going on here? Like, how dare you? You guys just waltz into my house, especially you, Spooder Man. And you're going to tell me the shit. Put a man is sitting there, waiting for the reaction or whatnot. And he's like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Um, please understand. Like, you understand that um, Skokos Koteni is not controlled by herself. She's controlled by these spirits. <laughs> So we just have to respect the process. But the crazy thing is, <laughs> in previous episode, it was divulged that Skokos Koteni is pregnant. So now it is coming out that what if she is pregnant with Spooderman's baby and not Monday's baby? Monda is the real, real husband. It's a problem. It's a problem. Right? So in the diary sessions, Monday is like, no, this is bullshit. Actually, I think that Uskoteni cheated on me. And now she's trying to cover it up by saying that the ancestors want her to take a second husband. So it doesn't look weird and shady. But irregardless of that, it, was, it would still look weird and shady. To me, it does. The fact of the matter is this lady cheated on her husband with another man and is now pregnant and now does not actually know who the baby daddy is it's like ricky lake anybody please call ricky lake to come and sort this situation out we need a dna test type of situation it gets worse <laughs> it gets worse then she tells monday that baby, I have to marry this guy. And I'm gonna pay Lobola for him. He is going to be my wife. Because he's marrying the spirit Skoteni. Because this chick has a different name, like her real name. He's gonna be marrying the spirit. So the spirit, the ancestor that possesses her, is a male. It begs the question, is that spelled gay? This is weird. This is fucking weird. It's weird. Skorpa Skoteni is going to be the man, and she's a woman. Her physical body is a woman, but the spirit that possesses her, the, sp the spirit that sh channels through her is male, who now wants to marry this sister guy who's also male, which means that spiritually they probably gay or something like that i don't think they'll ever clarify that situation we just have to take that shit and eat it and i'm saying take that shit and eat it because guys let's just be honest i don't mean to be disrespectful if i'm coming across as disrespectful but me growing up and then getting onto my spiritual journey and learning about all these different aspects of spirituality. I'm a sangoma. I've never tapped into all of that stuff. Anything I've ever done, I've told you guys, I've done it on my own. My own research. 
how I feel, what I see, what I hear. And it's been crazy, right? I don't have any guidance from a, a physical person. I don't trust. I don't trust. But what I'm saying is, the whole Goggles Kotini situation to me is weird. And Goggles Kotini, if you see this video, please don't do any, send anything to me and stuff. It's just my opinion. Educate me then. Educate me. Rather, don't hurt me. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Anyway, um, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> what the hell? In days of our lives and passions, and the bold and the beautiful is going on here. This lady is telling her husband that she's pregnant, and she's been dating this man that he knows of and could potentially be the father of her baby, and he must just accept it. When the husband, Umande, says that, this is weird. What are you saying, bro? You stepped out on our marriage to go and cheat on me, and now you're pregnant, and you don't know who the baby daddy is. What if I do the same? She says, that would never happen. You would never do that. I think there was a point where he said, what if I left? Or something like that. And she was like, that would never happen. She even goes to the point where she's like, if this is going to be a problem, then I'm going to have to use my muti to make you guys get along. Just like I've used my muti in the past. Yo, no, that's deep. That is very fucking deep. What did you use your muti on in the past? To bag these men? Like, what is, what's going on? I told you guys in my witchcraft video, this video right here, go check it out if you haven't, that society has become so, has become so comfortable and it's such a norm that these freaky dicky things are happening. This is now broadcasted on mainstream media. Is, is this our entertainment? People are saying, these are threats. These are threats from people that have supernatural powers or know how to use the herbs of the earth to get their way. No, no, you'll never leave me. He'll never leave me because I've done something to you guys. And besides that, um, if you guys can't get along, then I'll have to use something on you to get along. <sighs> Is that love? Is that fair? Is that life? Is that life? To control people in that way? Just because you have the know-how and know how to do these certain things. Man, it's... Is it emasculating or demasculating? I think it's emasculating men. Because those two guys, they just seem like boys to me. They just seem like people that are stuck in a situation that they cannot get out of because if they if they fall out of line, you're gonna be bewitched. I got you. I will make it right with my magic. It's very scary to me. And that should be very scary to the rest of the world. Because not so long ago, another witch doctor was saying online that I just need your picture, I need your, your social media profile. To do whatever it is I want to do to you. And so nobody is safe. And we're just okay with all this witchcraft. It's like people actually condone it. Because they, they actually want to go get these supernatural powers. So they can have powers of gold diggers and slay queens. To better their lives financially. Nobody is coming. Do you understand how we are actually really in the end times? And it's, it's bad. People that are supposed to be healers are witches. They are. And no, I'm not afraid to say it, guys. I'm not, I'm not afraid anymore to say it. It's not right. It's not right. But it's wrong. Like, something is weird here. You're going to tell your man that if you can't get along with my side dish guy, who is possibly my baby daddy now, I'll fix it. And you're not going anywhere. It's like a threat. <laughs> it's a threat. These men are not even men anymore. The one guy, Gogos Koteni was saying that this guy was, was, was a man. He's going to be her wife. 
when there's family functions or what have you, whatever duties a woman has to do, he's going to have to do because she's going to pay Lobola for him. So therefore, he, he is her bitch. She's going to be the man. He's going to be the girl. The woman, the wife. And then he says, oh, but this is kind of weird. And then he asks about the surname of the baby if the baby is his. Because they don't know the baby, the name of the baby that baby is. And he's like... <laughs> type of situation. They don't know whose baby that is yet. These have feelings. Right? He's like... Who's the baby... Whose surname is the baby going to take? And she's like, mine. You... Even you gonna take my surname after we get married. After all, I'm gonna pay dowry, which is Lobola for you. And he's like, so my surname is gonna end with me? Like, this is the end? And he's a man, you know, a man's... If a man has a son, it's a great honor because that means that the family surname can continue on. A woman, I mean, it's nice to have a, a daughter, but your daughter's gonna get married one day, which means she's gonna take another man's surname. Right? And it ends there. But if you have a son, it's a great honor. Because your surname will continue. Your legacy will continue. That name will never die. And she's telling him that your surname is done. <laughs> You're taking my surname, first of all. And that's it. And he was like, I feel kind of weird about this. But at the same time, he, he was so soft about it. Like... No, I get your point, baby, but like, this is kind of weird. And she was like, <laughs> literally giving him the eye, like, <laughs> so, like, <laughs> if you don't want to do this, it feels like there's already Moody involved. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he wasn't a man. <laughs> what are you, what's going on here? <laughs> like, it's weird. It's absolutely strange. Guys, in the Bible, it does say that in the end times, Men will start dressing like women, women like men. You must know that we are in those days or years or whatever. It's happening. Men are now taking women's surnames. Men are women. Women are men. Please don't, don't come with, don't, when it comes to transgenders and stuff, don't address me with that. Right? I, I'll be honest with you in this video. There was never a day... I will address a man as a woman or a woman as a man. That is a mental illness. And even this situation, it seems like a mental illness. Something is going on here. It seems like a collective mental illness. Do, do you guys know about mass hysteria? When a group of people start to go crazy, maybe they start doing violent things, but they all have the same mindset. It seems like that is what is happening here. It's very strange to me. This... This is why I'm saying, I, now today, I absolutely don't believe in Amasangoma and stuff. I can't. I don't think that they're all bad or they're all um, giving people the wrong teachings. But for a Sangoma that is well respected in the community to come out and say, my man, Sangomas, don't they usually say, go fix your certain things. Your, your things aren't going right because go fix your certain things with your father and then you guys can get married. As a man and a woman. Now this lady is coming out to say, I'm going to be the man. I will pay down. It's like everything is changing. Just like it says in the Bible. Everything is changing. Nobody is saying anything about it. Where is the respect? Where are all the teachings that have been passed down from generation to generation? This doesn't make any freaking sense. In what world? It seems like a woman that was cheating and now she has to confess, and now she's just pulling this card off. My ancestors said, this is how it has to be. And the guy is, is, is on something. Like, <laughs> the moody. You can't, like... <sighs> but it's like, when do men stand up and take back their pride? Stop killing the woman. But take, take back your pride. That is so embarrassing. That guy should be embarrassed for even allowing, whether it's money. The root of all evil. You're going to shoot the show. You're going to get paid. This is okay. Brother, if I see you on the street, I'm going to laugh. Wait. Where do you give... I can't. 
this is so dangerous. This is so wrong. And then people go to traditional healers that want to tell them about this. And Coco Scotani was asking that guy. She took him out on a date. This was this a guy. And she was like, what's in a surname? Mom, what's a surname? Isn't it that... Uh, I've watched many videos online. Isn't it that Sagomas and people like that, they, 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 they always fixated on surnames. Find your, your father. This, this, this. Your surname. Your surname. Where you come from. And now she, one prominent... Hila is asking, what about a surname? What's a surname? When you took somebody else's man, woman, it's like, wow, you just outed yourself. This is so weird. This is so immoral. This is like, in, on every level. I can't, I, I cannot, I cannot even come here and try to sugarcoat it. Even if you're going to do something to me or whatever, that would be so unfair because these are my opinions. But I'm just saying, like, are you serious? What are you teaching people? What's a What's going on? As a woman, I don't think I would want to... I don't even think polygamy is all that great. I don't, because we've seen on many other reality shows how these women don't... They don't actually really like each other. I don't know why they're there, why they do it. Maybe it's for better circumstances in life, like gold diggers and hoes. Maybe that's what it is. But imagine now... As a woman, you're sharing two days. You know what I mean? Then what if they both big? <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 I don't want to I don't want to be disrespectful and say what I'm thinking. It's like you're a <laughs> Must ex oh <laughs> type of situation. No shame is ex home. Darling. <laughs> but to reference you just makes sense. I'm just saying. Just <laughs> what's happening? It's like all the other old teachings are gone. It, this is not normal, guys, and you must admit it. It's not. It just seems like a mistake situation happened where baby girl was cheating on her husband. And the fact that now she's pregnant, she doesn't know who the baby daddy is, she has to cover it up, and now she's using her ancestral what what, And they'll figure it out as a go. And then she's like, oh, you're never going to leave me. I will have to use my stuff. That's a thread. Phew. And apparently there are men that have fetishes of being Namasangwam or woman, vice versa. It's like, is it even natural love? Is it real? I don't mean to be disrespectful to anyone, right? But I do feel like if you guys are going to present these topics to us, we should be given the grace and courtesy to actually discuss them. So please don't send your lightnings or anything to me. It's not going to work. Anyway, um, I just find the whole situation strange. And I think that putting it on the show... That's a reason for us to discuss it. I don't agree with it. I find it very strange. It's very hoish. It's very, um, it's giving very evil vibes. And threatening people with your powers tells me that maybe when you're not 110% a healer, you just do whatever you want because you know the herbs of the earth. It's scary. And people are going to keep coming to consult because there are evil people out there. They want to do whatever they want to do. It's weird. Like, I want to respect these people so bad because I'm so spiritual. And I respect spirituality, but it's like, damn. Like, what the fuck is going on here, man? Everything is so winky-wonky and it's in the freaking Bible that these things are going to come to pass. And they are. But are people going to ever wake up? I speak about the Bible and people are going to be like, oh, don't be weird. <laughs> really? You don't think a woman taking two husbands not knowing who the baby daddy is and telling them both that I will use magic on you if you don't want to get it on. You don't think that's weird, but you think that when I speak about the Bible, that is weird. Wow. Do you understand what I mean? There's something wrong here. Something is wrong, right? And some of us are going to speak about it because it's not okay. People are being led astray. You're going straight. I promise you this. If you are going to fall for these things, you're going straight to hell. You, that's where you're going. Like, one way ticket to hell type of situation. Don't do it. Call these things out. It's wrong. It's weird. It's weird. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No. 
No, 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 no. Anyway, you guys, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next um, video. You guys, please do stay prayed up no matter what. Don't ever feel like you have to turn to the dark side. Right? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. I absolutely do love you. Bye. <laughs> What the fuck I do, what the fuck I say Because I'm a bad bitch, I'm a relax But no time and I be stopping on the weekends I got that shit in the bag A triple threat, I'm stocking the bag Don't follow the best, addressing me, you call me that When I walk in, you take a stand, you call me a